So I noticed that you've uh, not been yourself uh, since the drive home. What's wrong? I'm fine. Babe. Babe. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Babe. What's the problem? Talk to me. It's nothing. It's nothing. Amy, Amy. What's wrong? <laughs> it's just I'm a little appalled. TJ was emotionally and psychologically abusive tonight. Yeah, I know their marriage has its rocky pricks, but he didn't have to go all the way to insult her like that in the presence of everyone. Honey, the way TJ handled things tonight was really, really bad. He practically humiliated her. I know, I know, I know, but... There uh... is no but in this. There is no but. I don't understand what kind of a man would do that. And let me ask you, did you guys know about this? But no. No, no, listen, come, listen, babe. I know... I know what you're thinking, but that's not it at all, all right? If, if I knew about it, I would have told you. I didn't. But this is just so sad. I mean, it's sad to watch Melissa live this kind of life. She deserves better from TG. Okay, look at me, babe, listen. It's their problem. Whatever it is, I'm sure, let's just leave them to sort it out. Promise me. Promise me you would never do something like this to me. To our marriage, Victor. Cross my heart and hope to die. I will never hurt you, Amy. You're my life. and take me to the bedroom. Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Is that all you want? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, Let's do this. So I have to take my breakfast. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> you good? I'm going to make the table. <laughs> I'm not going to break anything. Okay, yeah, I'm good. All Which right. way? This side. Good. of that man. Belittling his wife like that in public. <laughs> what sort of a man is that? I don't understand it. And oh, honestly, I can't just believe Melissa back there. She just stood there without doing anything. She could have done something. Oh no, if I were in her shoes, I would have killed that girl. I would have done something serious. Listen, I want you to stop being friends with that useless man. I don't want you guys friends again. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, what are you... Why? What do you mean why? Exactly what you heard, my dear. Because someone with that kind of personality is a bad news and I want you to disassociate yourself from him. Uh, okay, so using Terry as a point of examination, you've analyzed and concluded that, that men or, or I behave like that. <laughs> but the tendency is there. He's your friend, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> tendency. I want you to stop being friends with Terry. You know what, Miriam? 
It's not going to happen. It will never happen. I have known Terry way before I even met you. Terry's like a brother to me. Oh, really? Even when he affects the peace of your home? The only thing affecting the peace of this home is your wild imaginations. Okay, because Terry is a chronic womanizer doesn't mean I am a chronic womanizer. So what are you trying to say in essence? I'm trying to say that if you're not comfortable, if you're not fine, then use the door. What? Exactly. You heard me. Did you just say that to me? I said that. I said if you're not happy with this marriage, if you're not happy with me, then please go. Maybe I can finally have peace of mind. Love is a precious thing. It is beautiful, priceless beyond beauty. Love is a precious thing. But just like they say, love is not enough. Oh, love is a precious thing. It is beautiful, priceless beyond beauty. Beauty. Love is a precious thing. But just like they say, love is not enough When butterflies die and the feelings disappear Hey, you again, hey. Excuse me. Listen, can we talk, please? No! Hey, um, I just, I just want to talk, that's all. Well, please. I don't want to talk. Okay, listen, it's just, just five minutes, just give me a chance, just listen to what I have to say. Please. I'm so sorry, please. Fine. I'm listening. Can I see and talk to Purity? No. That will never happen. Listen, I just I, I, I want to apologize. I was rude. I said hurtful things to her. I should never have spoken to her that way. Every time I think about that morning, I, I feel really bad. Please. Well, it is only an animalistic soul that could have done what you did to Purity. You and that jerk of a boyfriend of hers ruined her soul. She has a boyfriend? How am I even doing this with you? Excuse me. Just like they say, love is not enough. When butterflies die and the feelings disappear, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When everything changes, the one to love is above. It takes more than love to keep holding together When butterflies die and the feelings disappear It takes more than love to keep holding together Oh my God! Ah. All of this? That's not even all, look at this one Look at this. You like it? It's so fine. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Look at this one. Oh my god. Do you know I saw this on Instagram? Really? Mm -hmm, that influencer. Um, what's her name? What's her name? Oh, I've forgotten her name. She has exactly this kind of bag. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. You look at all of this. I'm glad you love them. Oh my god. This is so cute. Thank you. Oh my god. Clara. That's so fine. Mm -hmm. Girl, you've gotten yourself a ticket out of poverty. My like, sister. This is your perfect opportunity. My sister, I did tell you. It just feels like God single handedly brought this man to me mm -hmm. and said to me, Clara, my daughter, this comes to an end of all your suffering. <laughs> <laughs> God, thank you. You can say that again. Ah. Wow. I wish I can learn myself a man as rich as this. Mm -hmm. oh! my problems will be solved. <laughs> but are you sure he doesn't have any friend who is still available? Rest. Madam, rest, okay? They're all married. Oh. Mm. Mm. I see Baba no be married man and yet he takes care of you like kilo day. Can you say ah! that again? Go <laughs> from going to one of his parties to a three day vacation and even more. Okay. Do you know what will happen if this man eventually marries you? Uh, I bet just what it there, I beg. I beg. Hold on. Uh -uh. Marriage. 
that's not part of my priority at all. Mm -hmm. Like, just count that out for me. I'm just in for all of this, for the cruise, vacations, oh, the enjoyment, you know, the money. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing more, nothing I less. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Um, I'm taking this one. Which one? Yeah, this one. Um, okay, you know, I have this one and that top, I bought them specially for a very special occasion, okay? Oh, no, no. Don't worry, I'll get you something. So no, I'm taking this one. Uh -uh, this one I saw on Instagram. Okay, don't worry. I will transfer some money to you. No, now. I'll Babe, take no, this one. not this one. <laughs> Your breast is bigger than my don't boobs. Don't worry, I will chuck it there. Say, well, if I you not go enter. You do enter. You not go enter. To enter, Ella. You to enter. This girl, oh, gosh. Oh. Come and pack this up, so. Is a precious thing. It is beautiful, priceless beyond beauty. Love is a precious thing. But just like they say, love is not enough. Oh, no. Just like they say, love is not enough When butterflies die and the feelings disappear It takes more than love to keep holding together Hi. <laughs> oh, please, can I be your barman if you don't mind? Or it's just help you open the wine. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. They are the waiting room as we speak, sir. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay.
Mr. Wachukuru, just like my colleague said, thank you so much for doing this with us, the People's Magazine. And I'm sure the people will be so intrigued to know what happened to the boy from and how you have made it this far. You could call it whatever you want. You mean they'd like to know more about the boy from the slum, the ghetto, whatever, I don't mind. Hmm. That sounds so flexible. Well, you have to be in business, you know. Um, those are the qualities you need to possess. You need to know where and when to bend to your benefits. But I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, shall we start? You're ready whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm very ready. The appointment was slated by me, so I keep my promises. <laughs> the company studio is set. Um, make a supervision that suits you and I'll join you. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. See thank you. you. Yes, thank you very much. Excuse me. All right. You're excuse. I will not give it to you, don't you get it? You've hurt her enough and I won't let you do that anymore. Thank you for your time. So what if I come over to your studio for pictures, make an appearance on your beauty live television, thereby blowing the mind of the members of the board of your company? Would you still not let me have it? You want me to do what? Are you sick or something, Bella? But what? Huh? What does he want? Lay out some useless excuses which I am not in the tiniest bit interested to hear. Babes, I... I... Uh, that was not okay. I am not happy at all, Bella. I know what I... Business! Yes! You sold me out for business. It's not like that. Mm. I am highly disappointed in you. Excuse me. you out here to apologize. I'm truly sorry for the way I treated you. I just want you to forgive me. I know that this may sound cliche, but I found it hard to forgive myself. I felt very bitter. I swear that I'll never treat another woman like that again. I'm really sorry. If you can forgive me, and we can be friends. Does your wife know about the other night? There's some things she doesn't need to know. Spare her the pain. But that's not why I called you out tonight. I just wanted to apologize, that's all. Please forgive me.
going on? Why is she not picking? Even him? Ah! Oh, I shouldn't have let her go, go on this with him. I shouldn't have just... No, Bella, no, no, no. I shouldn't have let her meet him. No, no. Hey! What happened? I kept calling and calling. You weren't speaking. Even him. I was dead worried. Was there a problem? Come. Just come. Tell me, what happened? Nothing. You expect me to believe that? Okay. He made amends in a sweet way and I accepted because, I mean, it's difficult to see a guy who looks out for the girl he missed up with and says sorry. <clears throat> so much rekindling. Uh, let's say he's nice, he's sweet and he's good to be with. So what are you driving at? It's like gossip. Ah. Madam, you must complete this gist. Okay. You must start you must end what you started, no problem. You will complete it. I am impressed. I am impressed with the argument and the counter cases. I would need you to work on the facts. You know how the law works. 95% of the time, the ruling favors cases that come with evidence. And hardly does conscience play a part. Thank you, ma'am. This would go a long way to help me with the further research. And, um... I am always at your disposal, should you want any help. Thank you, ma'am. Hmm? What? Um... You may go. Thank you, once again. Thank you. Um... I'm sorry. It seems I lost it somewhere. Sorry. Jake. Whatever you want to say to me should pertain to the research. Leave him alone. Let him go. What? What on earth gave you the guts and the nerve to tell me what I should and should not do in my marriage? Marriage? Is this what you call marriage, Lisa? What you and Terry have is a chariot that is going to run you dry. You better be careful. Get out. Lisa, I'm just giving you my candidate. You don't... Jacob, I said get out of my office now! Okay. Fine. I will leave. But think about what I told you. Get out! Rubbish. What? Love is a precious thing. It is beautiful, priceless beyond beauty. So, <clears throat> if I understand you correctly, you invited this girl out just to apologize. <clears throat> just like that. With no plans up your sleeves. <laughs> Victor. Victor. Uh, 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 no, just, 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 just please. 
from his answer, uh, you, you find out that he did what he did with no plans whatsoever. Up his sleeves, nothing. You know, he was only trying to relieve um, an old, uh, sad injury. Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah, I just I needed to get it off my chest. Uh, no girl deserves to be treated that way. Interesting. Good man. Interesting. Interesting. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Is it? No, nothing. Old. nothing Hello. Old. Yeah, are you here? Oh, good. Good. Uh, just tell them to direct you to the bar. Yeah, I'm here with my friends. Okay. All right, then. Who was that? Who was? Wow. Wow. I'm telling you, really. I'm telling you, man. Oh, there she is. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, Toria. Oh. So come, come Interesting. Soon. Come. <laughs> come Interesting. Soon. Hi, baby. Hi, darling. How are you, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. mm. Love you. Come, have a seat. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Toria, my friends. Um, Victor, Hi. Um, Jonathan, Hi. TJ's on his way, he'll soon be here. Okay. Yeah, so uh, guys, meet um, Toria, that's uh, Victoria. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Pleasure. Same here. I've heard a lot about you guys, especially TJ. Oh. <laughs> yes. Nice yeah. Same here. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm. what are you guys having? What would you like to have? Of course, but not this. I would like to have some you chilled. Like have <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's free to have me now. <laughs> so, no, mm -hmm. I would like to have some chilled beer. I mean, a really very good chilled beer. You see, that's a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a spirit. That's why I love you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, waiter! Wow. So bold and fearless. Honestly, I never thought this day would come. Yeah, that's what a bad wife does to you. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Our guy has grown wings. Yeah, <laughs> certainly has. Uh, yep. Hey, guys. She's gone? Hey. Uh, yeah, she's gone. Yeah, we need to leave now. Mm -hmm. All right. I won't get to the house, I'll just you. Girl, you're missing. Oh my god. I really, I really hate that picture. Oh my god. I hate him. I hate him. Get into the car. I just can't. It's very harsh. Oh my god. No, seriously. No, but the thing is, the thing is that we really need to change some courses, you know, sometimes. Hey guys! No! Is that Clara? Uh -huh. I oh no, I my goodness! goodness. I can't it! Yes. Look at you! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Jeez! Clara! Turn, 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 baby! Pizza! Simon, girl! Oh my god! Oh, You're looking no, no. You're cute! cute. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, darling, it's a love story. Uh, <laughs> 
But wait, wait. Oh. Which laws do we? Eh? Which laws do we? Ella here told us about the newest guy. Yes, every gist. She, she don't give us every gist. <laughs> Mama, it's true. Cut soap for us now. Cut soap! Mama! Ah! Fina, cut soap for who? How about leave me alone, I beg? Look at you, man. You look so amazing already. Eh? I beg, leave me. Anyways, <laughs> Bet is trying. Uh, yeah, like, um, like she will not cheat on him like someone I knew. <sighs> I did not cheat on your cousin, darling. I never did. You know, your cousin is just um, a broke ass nigga who doesn't know how to take care of a lady. So, what do you expect me to do? To be with someone like that so I can be miserable? Come on, just stop it. Girl, listen to me. I love the way Kama dishes its food. And when it starts, I'll be. Babe, like, oh, damn I beg, Jo, just leave hey, me. She knows girl, what I'm saying. Girl, girl. Come on. Let's not do this here. We have something more important than all of these things we're, we're talking about. Well, you know the one telling me about that, how difficult this, this uh, that lecturer is. We have to think about this forthcoming exam. You see me, eh? I don't want to be in any lecturer's bad book as an unserious student. Thank you. Can you please tell this Clara here Jamie, that... Jamie! Abba! Oh, no, just... Come on, just leave her. Let her talk. It's a free word, so you can talk as much as you want to, darling. Okay? Well, I'll be having dinner this evening, so if you guys are interested, you can let me know. Just DM me, okay? All right. Okay. Um, all right, girls. I'll see you later, okay? okay. I think... Nice. Clara, just take it easy. Go! Here, thank you. Oh, it's very cool. Mm. Clara. Yeah? Why don't you always let this chinny girl get away with everything she says about you? I mean, she's always acting all cool and innocent, but she's not exactly as she portrays herself. Do you engage in a fight with Morans? No. Exactly. That is what she is, a big moron. And the last thing I would ever do is to indulge her, okay? Okay, um, I have something I want to talk to you about. Everything okay? Yeah, sure. CJ is coming over this night. Hold on. Oh, wait. Clara, you guys are having sleepovers already. Oh, that's my boyfriend you're talking about. Hmm. Uh huh. Well, you know, I'm just quite tired of the old public thing. You know, we just want something a bit more private. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of people seeing us when we go out, so we just want something a bit coded. Well, I'm just telling you because you're my friend. Mm. So why don't you ask him to get you a house? Yeah, the guy is rich. He can afford it. Hmm, babe, be coming down. <laughs> be coming down. Uh -uh. Why, where are you running to? <laughs> well, well, well. That's my target, but I'm just... I told him about something first, so I just want him to be done with that chapter first. So when he's done with that chapter, mm -hmm. then I open up a new chapter. Oh, shit! <laughs> You trust me. That's my <laughs> girl. That's yeah. Perfect. Well, you're actually having a problem. You're lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already have plans to go out with my study group tonight. Ooh. So you are free to do whatever you want, babe. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? <laughs> I'll hold you that bone straight that you can clamor in about. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be the latest big girl on campus. No problem. I cannot wait to have it. Thank you so much. When I get to it.
You stepped early. Yes. Dinner is ready. I don't want to do dinner. Why? Do you have somewhere important to be? Not really. I... But... but... I... Please, I just want us to have dinner together. Plus, there's something I need to talk to you about. What is it? Over dinner. Oh. Well, like I said before, I don't babe, want to Babe, babe, I would never stop you from going out. But I just want us to have a conversation over dinner. That's not too much to ask, is it? It's all right. Thank you. All right. Oh, I'll be right back. Not be happening to me. CJ! Wait, wait a minute. I, what is going on? After taking this time to look this good and hot? Okay. Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. What do I have to do? CJ, hmm? can we talk now? Yeah, let's talk. I... I want us to go counselling. Counselling? Yes. We need to talk to a marriage counsellor. I mean, we need to voice out our problems for possible solutions. Problems? Are we having problems? Terry, you and I know that things have gone from bad to worse in this marriage. And it's time we, we sort this thing out.
TJ. Uh -huh. Did you hear what I said? Uh, yes. Um. Uh, uh, sorry. Um. TJ, could you leave whatever that is for later? This is important. We need to fix this. We need to fix our marriage. I mean, we, we cannot keep walking around each other like we are walking on eggshells. You're right. You and I are a couple. Yet we live like we're total strangers. I mean, even roommates have more chemistry than we do. TJ. Hey. CJ, by the time I'm done with you, trust me, you would regret not coming to see me this night. By the time I'm done, you would honestly regret it. happy that we are going through this. I'm not happy this is happening to us. I mean, we can do better. We used to be better. We used to have more chemistry. We used to be more sensitive to each other's feelings. Sure. TJ. Hey. TJ, could you just leave that phone alone? Change. I don't understand. Eh? Who can never change? Who thought that thing? Hey, you William! You heard me. How do you get it? Mind your business, son! Mind your business, son, William! Chloe, what don't, you, don't, what don't, you, don't, there's no reason to yell. You yelling is unnecessary. Look at this place. It is obvious you're not even ready. Who tell you? Ha! I'm not ready. What do you mean? Where would they go? I don't even ready. Would you like this? That is not even the point. Just look at a young married woman. Look at how untidy your house is. It's, it, your house is in a mess. It's so untidy. What if your husband comes in here with a guest or probably a business associate? How would you explain it? What would you tell them? Biam, Miriam! Miriam! Oh, this place is not my house. If you go to your house, you do the way where you like. Me and you know they married the same man, oh. Really? Yes, really. Okay. Did they hear me? I'm sorry then. Better tell me sorry again. Come on, start to wait there for your eyes before you come out to my own. Did you come? It's okay. Oh, it's fine. Sorry. Chloe, it's okay. Better tell me sorry. Tell me sorry again. I said sorry. Oh God. No, no, Chloe, Chloe, it's okay. Please, you cannot <laughs> leave this place like this. You have to get dressed. Do you know we you don't have you time. You are the reason I'm still here. You are the reason I am still Miriam, here. Please, Lele. Please, just eh? Just see this one. Let's, let's because let's go find girl and where would they go? It's because not possible. The clothes why? It is not possible. You cannot go like this. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's mad. You cannot. My explain give you. No why is it possible? Clothes why? Watch. They never dry. Oh God, do they never dry? I don't know what's the meaning of all this. Let us go. Let us go. I don't have time for this. Miriam, every time you come and have your day, what I'm going to do? Why don't we? Chloe, let's go. Come up here. Oh goodness. How on earth did Lisa get to meet this horrible being? I don't even give her that name, Chloe. Doesn't suit her at all. Lisa, I need to leave here ASAP! Terrible. Hmm. Lisa! Lisa, I need to be out of here soon! My 
my darling, I got a lot of recommendation on that dress. Really? I looked like a goddess. And you loved it, didn't you? <laughs> you see? And I was telling you, take this, take this. I'm glad you listened. Thank you, baby. Huh? I'm praying for customers like you. Because if I have people like you walking into this store all the time, I'm going to be a billionaire. And I like <laughs> Ella, that. Let's just leave me alone now. Is that uh, your money? Is that your money? Eh? Who is in the shop? Who is in the shop? Um, sorry, ma'am. What's, what's the problem? Everything right here is the problem. How can I spend so much money? My hard earned money, oh. So much money to buy an expensive dress and then I'm getting a smaller size and cheap color. Uh, hey? Eh? Who would wear it? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, who would wear it? You say sorry, who would wear it? Um, I don't know what platform you ordered this from, but it's, uh, it's the size and color, right? Um, I will just have to check and then we'll change it. Okay, eh, that's fine. Madam, it's not fine. Because what I just want right now, I want my cash. Thank you. Well, I need my cash. So just, uh, no verse, cash or transfer? No, just... Cash or transfer, <laughs> madam. <laughs> Clara, why don't you just take his call? I mean, the man has already explained that he was with his wife. And who the hell cares about his so-called wife? Ah, oh, Claudine. If she was so perfect, why did the useless man come to meet me? Babe, it seems you are forgetting, you know. <laughs> because I am, I, am, I am not your friend. You don't degree, you don't form my hand for public. Now I don't see so. It seems you are forgetting that I'm a spec, a full-time hot spec. A full-time one for that matter. It seems me being your friend has come to me trying, trying to degrade myself small. No, wait, wait, wait. Babe, I'm a full-time spec, a hot one. So I and, and to even to even to even couple the whole thing in the house, to even ice up the whole cake. I treat this man well in bed. I the service and well for bed, well, well. So I deserve the best and I deserve all the old treatment in the whole entire world. So anyhow I treat this useless man, leave me. Madam, cash or transfer. Ma I don't want to come back for your hand. Mother, please give me my money. Ma cash or transfer. What? Calm down, okay? You okay. don't know who might be married amongst the bit of them. Can you just calm down? See me, see wahala, oh, oh, oh. Is that my business? Is that my business? If anybody is married, how does he consign me? Ella, you don't fuck up. You are fucking up, Ella. If anybody is married here, how does he consign me? Can any woman, anybody here, anybody, tell me that they have never in their entire life gotten involved with a married man in their life before they got married? Madam, are they lying? Am I wrong? <laughs> As they look me blessed, say, <laughs> it seems you are the you are part of the luckily happily married ones. <laughs> Not very so. So good for you. Very good. But um, let me just give, let's me, I'll be you, two of us. Okay, I will do it. Let me just give them everybody that is here. Who, okay. If you are married, though. And you have a husband, and you love your man. Your man, they sweet you, you like him. I beg you, oh, hold your husband tight, oh. Hold your man tight, oh. Because Clara baby will snatch Shut it. up! Shut up. Hey. How dare you walk into an open space and blab rubbish without thinking about your environment? Um, you stand, no! You stand here and encourage young girls to be home breakers. My dad, no, let me talk to her. If you don't have anything to say with this thing you call mouth, mm. shut it up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, though. Am I dreaming? Madam, no vessel. Did I invite you into Because you did not care about your environment when you were blabbing bullshit. God! No, let me talk to her. Even if she's your customer, I have to put her in her place. <laughs> I might not be married, but I have a sweet, caring, <laughs> sweetheart boyfriend. Mm. And if I see a girl like you, mm. close to him, mm. I swear to God, I'll kill you. Uh -huh. And I mean it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Uh. I don't blame you. Oh. I don't at all. Because if I were to be that girl, mm -hmm. you are fooling around with her husband. Maybe she does not know how to deal with you or she does not have the balls to deal with you. My darling, <laughs> if you try it with mine, <sighs> and let me warn you. Mm. If I see you this close to my man, I swear to God, 
I will design this rubbish you call your face with acid. No, 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 no. Let me put this girl in her place. So okay, eh? Who do you think please, you are? Please, no! Please, I beg just, you. Just I look beg. at this. It's fine, it's fine. I'll sort it out. Just take a seat. What's please. going on? Uh, hey, um, yes, sir. Hi, girl. Welcome. Uh, just. It's just um, a little customer stuff. She ordered a dress and we gave her a, a different size and color from what she ordered. So I'm just trying to fix it. Uh, please. Um, sorry, let me get... Madam, I, I heard what you said to them. You're just trying to... She got a dress, you're just trying to fix it. Madam, I don't want... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fix it now. You think I'm playing? What I want is my money. Cash or transfer. You, you're sitting down here. No problem. Sit down well. Madam, cash or transfer? This big fool is calling me again. Terry! Terry! What is it? Terry, wait though. Haven't you disturbed me enough? Haven't you frustrated my life enough? Is it not enough for you? Oh, I see. Because you bought me iPhone, you bought me phone that every other gay has. So my own, my own will be different because you know because you're trying to frustrate me so I can break this phone. But tear it, it will not work because Clara, baby, will not break this phone. No, I'm not gonna break her. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> no problem, Terry. All I'm just telling you right now is that, eh? I have told you. Do what I ask you to do. If you know you cannot do it, Terry, rest now. Terry, rest now. Rest, please. But if you can do it, we cannot bargain. But if you cannot do it, Terry, rest and leave me alone. I'm sorry, ma'am. Much... Terry, rest and leave me but, but, alone. Um, how much did you pay for the dress? How much did you pay for the dress? I'm um, sorry. Can you? Clara. Sorry. Yeah. How much did you pay for the dress? Um, Let me. I, I, I can't no. just sit and watch this. I'll take. Madam, it sorry. Please. Madam, Ma how much? Will you, you give me my money now? Yeah, I want to give you. Will you give me my money now? How much did you pay for the dress? Ella, that's you. I will carry the shoe. Can you tell me? I will empty the shoe. Man, women are stubborn. Tell me about it. Very, very stubborn. You can never satisfy a woman. <laughs> you know, I never would have imagined that a day would come where a girl drives you insane. A side chick, for that matter. Yeah. This one is very stubborn and frustrating. And that's one thing I like about her. <laughs> I must tell you. <laughs> her stubbornness. Yes. This girl is ready to go walk over whenever she wants anything. She doesn't mind going all brother do just to have it. <laughs> TJ. You're in love with this girl. I mean, it's, it's unlike you. It's out of character for you. Sticking with one girl for how long now? Six months? Well, Clara is there for fun. For the fun. So let her enjoy. Until these women at home come back to their sense. <laughs> Lisa, I'm really sorry. I didn't have an idea that you people were coming. If I did, I would have discharged her. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. Discharge waiting. Hey, Ami, you know this girl. Nobody say you know know this girl. You know this girl from that party. You still allow her come your shop to come buy things. Why? Yeah. I mean, you prefer the money where she go give you more than we, your friends. No. Chloe, do not talk like that. You are no friends and enemies in business. Hmm. Yeah. 
I know that one, no. But you get what they call loyalty. I speak and well, Abi. They get what they call loyalty for friends. Eh? You know, say that girl they destroy uh, Lisa's marriage. She they destroy Lisa's marriage. You see, allow her call your shop, come buy clothes. Why? No. No, Chloe. She's not trying to destroy my marriage. Terry is. Yeah. Okay, yes, it, it's true that she's aware he's a married man before they got involved with each other, but she wasn't the one that lured him in. Terry did that. He played that game. He got caught in the web. I mean, seriously, why does it always have to be us women? Why? Whether wife, mistress, why are we the ones constantly trying to put some sense into this man's brain? Is it that they actually have small brains? I don't get it. That is because 70% of the time, they think with their dicks and not their heads. It's crazy. Uh, even said they think with their dick, not with their brain. Those girls no say they be married men, Abby. Why they go they keep relationship with married people? But everybody can think the way you do. People are different. Huh. You know, I've been thinking long and hard about what went wrong in my marriage. And, and so I, I suggested counseling to Terry. What? Counseling? Yes. Why? Because I want to fix this. I want to fix my marriage. Amy, you are right. I'm probably part of the problems we're having, but I don't think Terry is interested in sorting things out. Let me guess. He has never gone there with you. Not for one day. He's always coming up with excuses, talking about he's busy, and we all know what he's busy doing. Yeah, we no, all know. No. And honestly, me, I'm tired. I'm tired and uh, I don't know. I don't deserve this. Oh, honey. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this from anyone, especially my own husband. I don't deserve it, honestly. No, I don't. I need you. Lisa. Lisa, listen. So it's going to be fine, okay? You'll pull through. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You'll be fine. Don't break down here in the public. Please. It's okay. No it's cry, it's yeah? Fine. Okay. You're going to go through. Mm. It's okay. No it's cry. Easy. In public, don't break down. <laughs> no cry, no cry. <laughs> no cry. <laughs> was crazy today. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's something to be expected. That part of the city is always crazy. It reminds me, what happened back then? Did you have a fight with someone or what? Fight? Me? How do you know I can't stick so low to fight with those puppies? I just encountered a set of um, low-life girls who think it's justifiable for them to date married men. Honey, can you believe she had the nerves, the audacity to blame the ladies that it's their fault that their men cannot keep into their pants? What the hell? They said that? Honey. You needed to be there to see the way these girls were talking about this thing as if it's nothing. Why are they blaming it on the women? Well, the men are the ones putting their manhood on every hole. Huh, please, they don't need to blame all this thing on the ladies. It's crazy. Babe, I've told you not to concern or interfere in whatever people do or say. It's none of your business. Honey, I'm sorry. It's just that those, I am sorry. I don't need to bug you with all this low life girl story. So, <clears throat> how was the contract? Well, today's passed. Uh, though the reaction and response wasn't exactly what we expected, but I'm, I'm hopeful they'll call us. Honey, 
You don't have to worry. You're a sweet, smart, and intelligent, hard-working man I've ever come across. Who doesn't want to work with you? So don't worry. Never give up. They will call you. You know, I always pray for you, my darling. Mm -hmm. Sure, babe, I love you. You know, I love you so much. I love you, I love you. So, when am I seeing because it's almost two months I have not set my eyes on you. I miss you so much, except you don't miss me. Is that a question? Are you serious? You know I miss you, but work is really choking me here. So should I come over? Um, I'll, I'll come. Just, just give me a little more time, okay? I just want to clear a lot from my schedule so we, we have lots of time to ourselves, okay? It's okay, baby. Hmm? I understand. You know I love you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. That's my girl. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to give you all this. <laughs> Take care of yourself, okay? Okay, I'll call you later. Love you. Useless girls. God will not punish them for them to come across my mind because I'm going to tear them into pieces. Instead of them to go out there, look for young men, establish their life together and do something meaningful, they want to go out there.